Hey, uh, I just got up, but I got your email, and I wanted to show you. Um, okay, so you have your fly rod, and this is the piece that you're talking about having a problem with. I, I understand that. Uh, your, your rod um, has these two rings in the back are um, black aluminum. Um, saltwater rods all have two. Uh, aluminum rear locking pieces anyway go ahead and move this to the back and then look at the rod here and look for a gap first of all make sure <laughs> your reel uh like the handle is you know on the right and then this is the foot of your reel and you um look for the gap where your um oh see that piece slid up and no, i couldn't see it so there now i know that this little gap which is right there. That's where that's going to go in. Now I'm going to take this rear piece and I'm going to, I could just twist it around and I feel until I feel a gap here. Watch because there's a gap in this one. So I twist. Oh, I just felt the gap. See, so just bring it up, twist, feel the gap. And then once you do that, then hold it and tighten up the first thing. And then tighten up your second one. Oh man, you know what? I just did this backwards, but that and that's how easy it is backwards because um, my I, I reel with my right hand, and I'm pretty sure your reel is set up the same way. But anyway, you just flip it around. Um, our rods are um, very similar. This is the Hardy Zephyrus. Uh, you have the G Lumis NRX. Um, where is my, there's the gap and then hold it. And if you want to do this, like over a couch, just so you don't drop your reel on the floor. Um, that's probably what I would do just so you don't, um, smack it or whatever. I, I didn't do it this time because I, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to drop it. Um, I just have tape here cause that's uh, my leader, but, um, yeah, I mean, I hope that helps. All right, love you. Take it easy.